Mr. Quincy Mason, George Floyd's son, to say a few remarks on behalf of him and his family. Talk as loud as you can. I'm very reunited with my family. I'm trying to get justice for my father. And no, no man or woman should serve. Should be without their fathers. And we want justice for what's going on right now. I appreciate everyone for showing some support and love. I thank y'all for that. Quincy, so so emotional. Quincy, we've seen so many protests around the world, including Australia, about what's happened to your father. A lot of people there are protesting about what's happened to Indigenous people of colour in custody in Australia. Do you have any message to them about what has happened? I just want to thank them for supporting my family and to see justice. We need a chance this can't happen to anybody else. Uh, Quincy, did you see, did you learn about the death of your father on TV like everybody else? Is that the first time you... Yeah. His family, never found him. Uh, thank you all. Thank you very much. What charges are you expecting today? What do you expect the federal officers to be charged with? We're expecting these officers to be charged as accomplices for the killing of George Floyd. And hold on, I'll make sure everybody is quiet in the situation. He's not going to say anything else. Okay. All right. All right. Let's keep them close. We're going to be right behind us. Let's go. Obviously, as the police chief said, these officers are complicit by their silence, but we now know, based on the audio from their body cam video, that they also are accomplices because their failure to act when they knew that they did not have a post. Remember, one officer said, he doesn't have a post. Maybe we should turn him over on his side. However, Officer Shevin said, no, we're going to keep him in that position. To us, that is intent. And that's why the family is calling for first-degree murder charges against Officer Shevin for having his knee in his neck. And equally important is the fact that those two knees in his back for not one minute, not two minutes, not three minutes, not four minutes, not five minutes, not six minutes, not seven minutes, not eight minutes, but almost nine minutes, eight minutes and 46 seconds, George Floyd begged for air. He called out for Quincy's grandmother. He called out to anybody who would listen and seemed like the lay people on the street were listening. The people who refused to listen were the people who were supposed to listen. It was supposed to be the police who were meant to protect and serve George Floyd because George Floyd was an American citizen and George Floyd was a human being. George Floyd deserved humanity. And also, the system needed to be listening to George Floyd. Not just the police, but the prosecutors, the criminal justice system, the judges, the legislators, the president. Yeah. America, America needed to be listening when George Floyd said, I can't breathe because when he couldn't breathe, none of us could breathe. And so we, this is a tipping point. This is a tipping point. 
This moment is a tipping point to change America and see if America truly believes in the words of Thomas Jefferson that we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equally, that they're endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights that amongst them are life,